the costs as much as we possibly can over years. Now, fertiliser has been one of our major major costs in agriculture and one of the worst things that, that we do to our soils as well. Now, as we get things functioning and growing growing well, we get plants, these perennial plants will grow to a, 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 a great depth. And pretty well what you see on top here is the same in root mass as what's in the soil. So if we let our grasses grow taller, we, you, you will also grow bigger roots. Now what starts to happen is that as roots grow deeper, they will source nutrients that, ha that haven't been sourced before for, for many, many years. That's just the, the simple thing that's happened. But as we start to get... Uh, now, soil microbes feed off... Remember this morning I mentioned root exudates, like sugars exuded through the plants but they also feed off dead and decaying material of plants. So the more, the more you get plants growing and, and pulsing them, like grazing them back, feeding soil microbes, then we start to drive soil health and, and, and healthy soils and start building carbon. Um, and in, very, very importantly, start to cycle nutrients. Now, just to use an example, this is some new data, and Jackie, you did put it in one of your news bulletins. Just, and this is just work that's happened on my place, but this data is coming from everywhere. And I bet here on this paddock at Russell's, um, in it'd probably be five years' time, you will start to see increases in available nutrients in here, without any fertiliser being put on. Now, if you take that even that further, um, the soils at home are not only increased by about 200% in all of the nutrients that, that we can test for, that's available to plants, but they've increased by 200% in total nutrients. Now, that's supposed to be impossible. Yes. You're not supposed to be able to increase total nutrients in soil. So those total nutrients have to come from somewhere and they're coming from the, 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 the parent material of the soil. And the only way they can be coming from there is the microbes are, are actually releasing them out of, that, out of, out of the, the, the rocks that, and, and gravel in the soil. So we can, we can start, in, in, start driving healthy, healthy soils and improving soils and making our soils more fertile. Um, which is totally the opposite of what we get told. We've been told a heap of bullshit and lies for years and years and years um, yeah, about putting yeah. fertilisers on and if we don't put it on, you know, all well, hell's going to break loose. The only thing that'll go wrong if we don't put it on is that multinationals will go broke. Uh, we won't. I mean, they're sending us broke by flogging us all these products. That's not to say that we shouldn't be putting some fertiliser on to get to that point. I'm not, I'm not being anti-fertiliser or or you know, totally organic here, but we do, we can drive it naturally. Um, but we, yeah, there, there is a point where we, we work towards that.